Nearly 700,000 people were told to evacuate parts of Florida. Many of them have the ability to do so, but for others, it's much harder. Now, for the senior citizens riding out this storm, we've noticed a common thread that they're relying on to get through. Family. This morning, as thousands pack emergency shelters, the anxiety over Irma is growing among some of the most vulnerable evacuees. What's the most scary is what are we going to go back to? And are we going to be even, are we going to be able to even get back to our house? Almost 20% of the Sunshine State's population is 65 and older, the largest percentage in the nation. These heartbreaking pictures from Hurricane Harvey's aftermath in Texas went viral. Seniors in waist-deep floodwaters. Now families in Florida are trying to make sure the elderly are safe. At this shelter in Miami-Dade County, many seniors say they remember Hurricane Andrew 25 years ago. Things can be replaced, but your life cannot be replaced. Araceli Quiros and her husband are riding out Irma here. This is clear. So is another close relative. What is the most important thing you brought with you today? My family. In Boca Raton, 90-year-old Emily Rosen lives alone, but she's going to ride out Irma with her son. Yeah, I'm schlepping everything in that I can, and I'm figuring out whatever will be, will be. My father told me not to waste to worry, so I'm not going to worry. Uh, I do the best I can. You go. At this senior center, these friends say they're worried about the storm, but okay, not yeah, enough to miss their regular sure. Canasta game. We're here. We're all together. We're yeah, all helping we're all one from another. Different places. Overnight, 85-year-old Joan Allen got some extra help. Her grandson drove down from North Carolina to be with her. You look good. And take on Irma <laughs> together. I it's think it's a little scary. frightening, but. Uh, I just feel better now because I do feel better because my grandson has came down to rescue me. So, yes, I'm happy about that. Of course, not all seniors have family members close by to help them through. Hoda, that's when we're starting to notice neighbors step up yeah, to lend a hand. Yeah, you definitely want someone, and hats off to that grandson, yes. too. Gabe, thank you Thanks, so much. Gabe. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there, and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.